Hello, hello everyone. If you are new here, then you may not know who I am because I haven't guest spotted on Marcy's channel in a while. Guest spotted? Can I say guest spotted? Um, I'm Erica and that's my husband, Jeff, and we have a studio in Dallas, Texas. It's very filthy right now. Don't look. But today I am going to show you guys how I do the super easy, super beautiful, fun um, floral inlay pieces. I already have a couple of them done so you can see. What's up, Heather? Let's see. So what I'm actually going to do today is um, uh, this, something like this for you guys. And I also um, do this with, I need to do another flood coat, don't judge me, um, charcuterie boards. This one I did with black resin as well as this one. And I think it's super fun to do floral inlays when, well, I guess you can do it in um, a big mold, like people use the pyramid molds. That's just so much resin. Um, but so yeah, here we are and here we go. So this is what I'm going for today. And I went ahead and painted most of these so that we don't have to um, wait for it to dry because it's really important that you let the water evaporate completely before you add resin because resin is not fond of anything with water in it. That's also why it's super important to make sure you dry out your flowers completely before you try to inlay them. So right now I'm going to show you how I just painted this. This is how they come when you order them. I have them on my website along with the big trays. Um, and they're just little river coasters. You don't have to tape them up at all because they are dammed. So you don't have to worry about the resin flowing out. I just used in this some water and this dollar roni. I never know how to say that. I always say it absolutely wrong. Um, so just acrylic dye and water. And I'm using a very rough bristled brush. It's very, very rough. And that's okay because I want it to give kind of that scratchy, rustic. yeah, scratchy, rustic look. And then I just take this dropper straight out of the bottle and put some not necessarily knot holes, but little lines. Um, also, while I'm doing this, I just want to take a second and say thank you to everybody that's joining. I know I'm not Marcy. Can't, can't do what Marcy does, but I do do a lot of different kinds of artwork on our channel, Artists Till Death. And um, if you would like to come over there and see what we're up to, we do mostly resin stuff, but also... Uh, wheel thrown ceramics, airbrush, body paint, um, acrylic washes, acrylic paintings, a whole bunch of stuff. So it'd be awesome to have you guys over there. So, okay, now I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to go ahead and do these. So I ordered, hey, hey, everyone. I ordered these off Amazon. They even came with these little sticker doodads. If you are so inclined, I am not. Sweet. Um, so these are already flattened and dried. And this does look like it has been dyed, but it the dye doesn't bleed out. It's pretty awesome. Oh my goodness, Christy, silliness. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, Nisi, how are you? So sorry. I am Erica, if you are just now coming in. Marcy has some business to take care of, and every once in a while she asks me to 
um, hack her channel and do the live. And I love doing it because I get to meet a whole bunch of new people that I've never arted for before. And um, yeah, thanks to everyone that also subscribes to us over there on my channel. If you haven't subscribed to Marcy's, make sure you do so. And if you guys don't know, it um, really helps the algorithm for us creators. If you leave a comment, leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Okay, so I didn't even know I had these awesome leaves in here. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, I guess, one with leaves. I always like to do a layout first. That way I kind of know a little bit what I'm doing because that doesn't look good. But if I had glued it down, that would have been how it, how it was gonna be. So I think I like that idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these down. I am using a Ryobi uh, cordless hot glue gun to do this. If you don't glue your flowers down, they will float up and um, kind of break the surface of your resin. And if that's not a look you're going for, then tack your flowers down. Everything that I'm using has been 100% dried out. If you don't dry out your flowers, you're gonna have an issue. These obviously were pressed, so they were put in like a parchment paper and into a book to dry for a while. And now they look like this. Um, you can also just, if you don't want the flat look, um, put your flowers in some silica gel beads and that will dry them out pretty quickly. Um, at the end of this live, I'm gonna show you also um, some of our clear some of our clear coasters. I'm just putting a little dollop of glue in the middle. Also, also, I read, nope, did not, that was a lie. Someone told me that you could, um, nope, uh, freeze your hot glue sticks and that will make them not like have that long string Ugh, that I don't know if it's true have you guys ever done that let me know I'm trying to go with flowers that all kind of complement each other if you guys don't know I also teach color theory and composition Ugh. If you need help with colors or how to lay out your flowers or how to lay out a piece, I'm happy to help. I think that's good for that one. String. All right. Now I'm going to do this one real quick. And I'm going to use these pretty blue doodads that are apparently more delicate than I thought they were. Cause they're just busting up. Oh my goodness, Marcy. Hello, hello, hello. Thanks for letting me crash your channel. Yeah. Blue. A little bit of pink. I moved over here so that your hand would be out of the way and then now you're sorry. Has any of you guys tried the hot glue in the freezer trick? Or have you even heard of that? I knew a couple ones, but I didn't have any in here. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Husband wants a lavender flower in here. Husband gets a lavender flower in here. Boop. I think that looks pretty good. Knock this out. Now let's do this one. Let's see. I went ahead and I think this is lavender, actual lavender. 
went ahead and mixed up my resin, so I'm trying to hurry a bit because I don't want it to start curing in the cup. That would be bad. Let's see. Nope. Pink and purple always go together, right? I always like to put some long flower in the background or some greenery just because it gives a little bit of depth. What is the question? Something about affecting the hot glue. And the hot glue isn't affected by the resin or vice versa. No, the hot glue is not affected by the resin and vice versa. It's as long as it's dry, it'll be good to go. This is my first one that I did. And it has lasted really nicely. This needs to dry, but since I already have the flowers out, I'm just going to go ahead and glue this down while I've got everything out. This hot glue gun gets so hot that I have to turn it off and just use the residual heat that's in it. This one, I'm just doing flower, 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 flower. Because time. So where are you guys watching from? Have you ever inlaid flowers into resin? I need to know. I just need to. Cool. I'm going to put all these back in my little doohickey. I'm the world's messiest artist. Challenge me if you dare, but it's true. So I have to try to remember to clean up as I go. Okay, so I went ahead, nope, my husband went ahead and mixed this resin for me. And you can see that it is, all the flowers are um, below the, I guess, fill line. And since they are all glued down, I'm not going to have any issues with bits and bobs floating up. Bits and bobs. Yeah, bits and bobs. It's a technical term. I've never heard that. Oh. So bits and bobs. I'm just going to do a really thin layer first. Well, I thought it was going to be a thin layer because I want to attempt to pop some bubbles before moving on and filling it more with resin. Bubbles is something that people always fight with, but you can, oh, I'm not doing what I just said. You can um, hit it with a heat gun, spritz it with isopropyl alcohol. The higher percentage, the better. I'm just going to use a heat gun because I don't want um, to get any alcohol and wet the outside of the piece, just in case some resin kind of rolls over like that. <laughs> well, I have to demo. So I like to do um, this in layers so that I can pop as many bubbles as possible. And it looks like I'm kind of mixing the resin as I go, and that's because I am. When you heat resin, it's only going to hit the very top of the resin. And you want the bubbles, even that uh, the bubbles that are deeper, to pop. And so you kind of have to fold the heat in. That was a Schitt's Creek reference. Do you guys watch that? I hope so, because it's amazing. So um, the best way to be sure to get all the bubbles out is to use a casting epoxy and 
then to use a pressure pot to force the bubbles out. Pressure pot squeezes the bubbles literally out of your epoxy. But I don't have one of those. So I just do it this way and it's worked. I don't really care if some of the resin rolls out onto the piece because I'll just clean that off. You can wipe it off with a 90% um, or higher isopropyl alcohol. And it'll be like this one. So I will do that a little bit later. Ooh, I stuck my finger in there. I'm going to set these aside so that um, if you don't know, as resin sets and starts to cure, it will push bubbles up um, on its own and out. And so if you just give it a minute, like this one here, I have some bubbles coming up on this side. If you just let it set for a minute, it will um, kind of do the hard work for you. And that goes for cells as well. Ooh, this one is pushed out a quite a large bubble because air gets trapped under the flowers. Unless you completely tack them down, that's gonna happen. It just is. So the next thing I wanted to show you guys is um, some of our amazing clear substrates. We did these on our live not too long ago for Valentine's Day. I love, love, love them. They come in a lot of shapes on our website. I have linked the um, river coasters and these clear ones down in the description box already for you guys. They even come in coaster. Oh no. Sorry, I didn't clean that off. How fun. I love geodes and oceans. So today I'm just going to do a couple of our new shapes. If you don't know, our clear coasters come with this brown paper on them on the front and back. What coasters you and sticks. Coasters and sticks. What you do is you peel off one side, the side that you're going to art on. And I don't I think Marcy has some of our shapes on her website as well. Um, you peel one side art on that side and then leave the back side for after it's cured. And then you just peel it off and it's such an easy way to not have to do a whole bunch of cleanup. Sanding. Sanding. Get rid of all sanding. I hate sanding. Okay, so, <coughs> excuse me. Jeff and I are getting over what seems like a month-long flu. So these are our coast, nope, these are stir sticks. These are some of our tiny stir sticks. Um, did you know that you can actually introduce air into your resin by using wooden stir sticks? Because they are porous. Fun fact. But our, these. Reusable. They are not only um, better for the environment because they're not one use, but um, they don't introduce <laughs> bubbles into your resin and something else, which I've completely forgotten. So I'm using uh, Color Obsessions Pink Velvet for this. Where can you get that color from? You can get that color from our website, artistaldeath.com. Now I'm going to pour this out and it's not going to look like the best color because it's going to be a translucent on top of these clear coasters. This pigment is so great because it will always be translucent, which means you can see through it, but you can use just a little bit of the pigment and it will be a light shade, or you can use more pigment and it will deepen the shade, but it will never be opaque. So I just added a couple more drops and now I have a deeper shade. I think I'm gonna do an ocean on this just because why not? Love a good ocean. So this is just going to be kind of the way I do oceans. Okay. 
doing a pink ocean. I am doing a pink ocean because it's Valentine's Day. Uh, for white, I am using titanium from Just Resin. You can also get that on my website, artistildeath.com. It is a very opaque, very pigmented, yellowing, resistant white. I like to use this because it'll sink through the other colors and do kind of that Petri dish looking vibe that people love to do with alcohol inks. If you don't know, alcohol inks are not light fast or color fast in resin. So if you put alcohol inks in resin, odds are it's going to fade over time. Whereas these pigments that I, and you know what, if you want to use alcohol inks, go for it. It's still going to be beautiful. But these pigments that I use will not fade over time. If you are inclined to support another small business like mine, get some colors. Okay, <clears throat> oops. Now I'm going to use my wedding cake shaped concentrator nozzle on my heat gun with the airflow at 100 and the heat at 100. I'm just gonna do a little teeny tiny circles. Get that wave moving. And now I'm just gonna let this set and it will just sell up on its own. But I'm giving it a little bit more ripple. It wasn't doing what I wanted, so I had to do a little bit more negotiation. Uh, finagling. I'm gonna set that aside. <clears throat> and we'll do our manatee. I get requests for different shaped um What is this? Clear coasters all the time. And so our most recent one was manatee. I'm going to put just a little bit of this gold into our pink velvet. And hopefully I'll get a nice rose gold. In the bottom rose gold. That's not as nice as your rose gold. And I think it's because I didn't put that much gold in it. This may look awesome. This may look horrible, but we'll find out together. The gold kind of took over. It was just all pink, and now it's just all gold. So I'm going to put a couple more drops of this in. If you guys don't know, you can put acrylic paint in resin, but if you put too much, it'll set it off, and it'll make it start to cure way too soon and that looks like a copper color um i don't know where i'm going with this but i'm gonna just swipe everything and hope it looks amazing um i forgot what i was saying again so i'm just gonna swipe over this I'm gonna make it look like he's going really fast. He is on a mission to get to his favorite beach. And this will all self level out. I think that's good. I think he looks like he is on his way to be somewhere, very important somewhere. Head of hair, probably. Look how cute he is. He likes pinks. I don't know what to tell you. I'm gonna put him on our a dust free zone. And my, I don't know where my little tiny torch is. There's one. Came from, 
I'm just using the torch to pop bubbles on here because I don't want to create any extra movement. I just want to pop bubbles. Okay. And that'll look real fun when we peel the back off. I'll send a picture to Marcy. Maybe she'll have time to post it in her groups. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see where we are with these guys. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I do have a couple of bubbles. There's one ooh, right there that just came up. So I'm going to, I'm going to hit it with a little bit more heat. And I'm going to set this aside into um, our dust free zone and let a couple more bubbles come up. I'm sure that they will. I usually babysit these types of posters for um, see that big bubble. There's two of them. I usually babysit these coasters for how long do we usually do? Like a couple hours. I'll go and check it every like 30 minutes. Somebody has to figure out a and we're, we're in Dallas, Texas, and it's not, there's no weather over here. So in Vegas, Thank you for asking. they had an avalanche at a ski resort. They've had crazy awesome snowfall. Very jealous. In Vegas? Mm-hmm. There's a ski resort like, I don't know, 60 miles from Vegas. In them their mountains in the hills so i'm going to take you guys sorry for the movement sorry for the movement and show you the final pieces our manatee and our football that i just girlied up so i want to know you guys comment down below because it'll help marcy's channel if you um, engage with her videos, including this one. Um, do you like the pink and red one? The pink and purple one? The one with blue in it? Or the one with orange in it? Best. I really wanna know. And you can find these coasters, both the river coasters, the river charcuterie boards, I did these on my channel if you want to see that video. And the clear substrates are all available on our website, artistaldeck.com. And yeah, thank you for coming in and seeing what we're up to today. Sorry about my super messy um, studio. This is my big boy. We keep him in a super ventilated area in front of some windows and a fan. He needs to get groomed, but he's my super big boy. Marcy has hung out with Bowie. And this is canvas. She used to be a white canvas, but now she has ambered. We should just call you Amber. Jill, I'm a purple girl too. She's half palm, half husky, full crazy. Anyways, you guys, um, thank you for turning in. Seeing what we're up to, yes, he is a Pomeranian, and he makes an appearance on every one of my videos. Both the babes do, and I got to take them out. Okay, I'll give you one more tummy rubs, one more tummy rubs. Come on, get you. Um, ugh. Hope you guys have an awesome evening. Be kind to one another because you never know what someone's going through, and always remember that ATD does the test so you don't have to. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry I'm not Marcy, but no one can be Marcy. She's kind of amazing. And um, I appreciate you guys watching. Sorry I'm jumbling up my words. It's been a long day. But hope you guys have an awesome evening and um, see you guys next time. Till then, bye.